All right, picking this one up quite late on turn eight, and that's mainly because there's so much extra footage for this, hence the length of the video. But we already have a level 2.33 mole, and we get another one with alpaca, so it's going to be level 3 imminently. I can't stop going back to doing more mole combos. There are just so many different variations. I did actually record another one in pack 2 as well, so I mean, I'll have to space that one out because otherwise it's just uh, round-the-clock mole gaming on this channel. So, uh, yeah, on turn 8, but we are going to get a level 3 mole early, or fairly early, which is very important. Now here I think I definitely make some dubious plays in retrospect. I think I take the Stingray here. We do get Pteranodon on level up, which is one of the combo pieces that I need. However, here I'm going quite greedy, and uh, you'll see why soon enough. And I think I'm going to roll one of the other pets I need very soon. Here really I should be using the Blobfish with the Pteranodon. Like if I'd really thought about it, I would just buy Pteranodon, pill Blobfish, get another Blobfish and then pill it again. But uh, obviously didn't realize that at the time. We then roll the Scorpion though, and the Scorpion is the most important uh, piece of the puzzle. Well, I guess the Pteranodon is vitally important as well. But I want to get the Scorpion buffed up uh, to a decent level so it's not just going to die to snipes because in customs, Scorpion is so much weaker. Uh, well, Scorpion by itself. Obviously, you can do stuff like put Scorpion inside a Beluga Whale or Scorpion can spawn from a Stork, which is very good. But when you're just buying a 1-1 one -one Scorpion, its chances of surviving it, any length of time in the battle is just so minimal. So I want to get the flashlight buffs onto the Scorpion straight away. And here I get lucky with the chocolate uh, making up for my blunder with the uh, the double pill. And I'm just deciding whether or not to... I think I'm just going to keep the alpaca for a turn since it has a, a perk. And we'll get the 1818 mole. Assuming neither the alpaca nor the manatee get killed off. And of course, uh, it's flea. Weakness is another major problem. However, we were lucky that the blobfish had high enough health that it was going to draw the uh, the weakness. So we actually get a win there, which is pretty fortunate, considering the lineup. But now the scorpion has a bit of health. We can be a little bit more confident that it's not just going to uh, faint at the start of battle. So now I'm thinking about the sequencing. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to sell the manatee and buy the Pteranodon. And normally with Pteranodon uh, and Mole, you're generally, you don't need a higher level because the Mole uh, is going to end up fainting in place and summoning another Mole, which means there's no space for the unit uh, with the Pteranodon uh, to spawn. However, what we I really want to do is play Mole in third position here. And that will mean that the Scorpion faints uh, the two scorpions at the front are going to faint and then they're going to appear behind the pteranodon and uh, we'll still get the combo that we were looking for. <laughs> this is actually a very fortunate win after the scorpion gets sniped, but I'll take it. And now I'm just looking for a pill to try and get level uh, 2 T-Rex straight away, which we do. It's so rare that I use T-Rex, but since this build required uh, pteranodon and uh, scorpion, it seemed like it made sense. Uh, maybe I could have rolled for a pill there just in case, but I think I'll take um, the rice to give myself a, a chance of um, getting uh, multiple summons from the mole. Of course here the first scorpion gets killed by the lynx. Very common scenario that I was having in all these games, but there's the combo working. We The mole removes the peanut from the scorpion that appears behind the pteranodon. And although scorpion has such terrible starting stats, it, it is now the only pet in the game that spawns with a perk. It, bus used to be able to do it, and there's an, a bus on the opposing team. But that was changed in a recent update so that if you spawn a bus without it coming from the deer, it won't have the chili anymore. But here you can see the combo working perfectly. We remove two uh, peanuts from the scorpions. However, in doing so, we're, <laughs> we're going to end up losing. Sometimes, depending on the matchup, it's obviously better to just have a 1-1 with uh, 
uh, with Peanut than it is to re-summon another mole. But we will give the Pteranodon a perk so we can potentially get another loop. And yeah, I'm just looking for perks that are better than rice. But uh, yeah, garlic's probably the best because it's going to help mitigate damage from snipes at the start of battle. Plus uh, also um, still be there for the mole. Now here's another issue. You can see there the mole got, uh, the scorpion got sniped by the cobra, which is another reason to have a high level pteranodon because sometimes uh, your scorpion, the same scorpion is gonna end up getting sniped more than once and uh, it can be useful to just re-summon it. I could have maybe gone for level three pteranodon there, but we are on eight trophies. So I think I was just looking for a better perk for the T-Rex. And I'm feeling pretty secure now that we've got good stats on everything. It's much less likely that the scorpions are going to die and start a battle. Summon team here, but I mean, we're kind of a summon team as well. And we're going to get uh, multiple 18-18 uh, moles here. And so we end up easily dispatching that team. So now nine wins. Basically the dream setup that I was looking for. And I'm just going to buy food probably unlikely that I could um, find the, the level up on the Pteranodon. And yeah, it's Woodpecker Toad, the nightmare opposition. And not only that, that they also have the pepper on the octopus. So the high attack scorpion can't kill it. And all the scorpions get killed by octopus snipes. Just another reason it's better off to have your scorpion inside a beluga or popping out of a stork. But never mind, uh, we go again. I felt like I was getting close. So here are some uh, bonus clips. Now, there's a couple of turns in this game that were just hard to believe. And this one, bizarre situation where having the foam sword actually causes me to lose. If I don't have the foam sword, I win because there's no space for their scorpion that they copied with the falcon. So kind of wild there, we're down to one heart, but we survive on to turn 11, four uh, trophies. I've got the double scorpion and the pteranodon. It's crocodile. So unfortunately we actually waste the trigger from the pteranodon on respawning the cat. And then they get orca from the eagle at the end. So uh, yeah, a bit of a miserable loss that one, but at least it provided some uh, unusual footage. And then here's one where I start with a turn one tier two. And it's actually Frigate Bird, which works pretty well with Mole. I was taking it quite a lot, especially since it has uh, good base stats. And kind of disappointing here to face a perfect full dragon team, because otherwise the the four seven would have had a decent chance to actually win there. Um, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. And then fast forward, we've got double scorpion, we've got the mole. We don't have the Pteranodon yet. But I'm just scaling with the elephant seal. Uh, although it's going to be painful to sell that hawk. Although I'm not going to get the chance because I end up facing front shark muskox. And it uh, just shows you how fast you can scale shark. Although the update should come out pretty soon. Um, to get up to a point where it's worth putting it at the front instead of the back. I guess if it's at the back you're protected a bit from skunk. But uh, still tough to take that one. So here's another one that's in the late stages, eight wins, turn 16. And a lot of games I was taking Orangutan so that if I bought Scorpion at 1-1, the Orangutan would immediately give it uh, enough health that it might survive some snipes. Here we win and you'll see the combo works, yeah. We resummon twice, although we only have one Scorpion here. I'm going to actually get the level three T-Rex in one turn. So again, it feels like everything's going right. And then, yeah, full tier six team from the opponent. <laughs> um, I don't think it would have made any difference here if uh, they didn't have octopus um, or if I'd had a second scorpion rather, because ultimately the peanuts get removed by the moles. So yeah, I, I don't think that was really as close as it seemed, even though I did get to nine wins. And then here we go with another one. So turn eight, uh, sorry, turn 14, eight trophies. I have 428 Baboon in the back. Again, it's the same strategy where we're stacking health onto the Scorpions to try and make sure they survive. Unfortunately, there are so many teams like this that have Toad as well, and we're going to lose the uh, 
uh, Toad and Hedgehog, we're gonna everything's gonna get weakened. We're gonna lose all the scorpions because of the uh, the Toad uh, and the Hedgehog rather. But we actually still win anyway. So I was a little bit surprised there. I guess just the sheer amount of health. But what we're gonna do now that we're on nine wins is we're gonna throw the mole in at the last second. So <laughs> quite often this is something that happens. You know, going for these types of challenges where you're not finding all your combo pieces in time that you just try and uh, sort of cheese a win at the end. Leopard, uh, Mantis Shrimp, the usual stuff. Unfortunately, the melon's gonna block the scorpion there. Uh, and uh, yeah, we end up just missing out there on the tie because of the lemon. But I am gonna get level two mole, even though it has no attack to speak of. Maybe I should have had uh, hot dog or something like that in the pack. I can't remember exactly what was in it. I will link it in the description if anyone wants to try this themselves. And then we actually face a guinea pig lynx team, which uh, I made a video about that a long time ago now, but um, very uncommon to see something like that. And we actually uh, end up losing, which was um, kind of surprising. But yeah, when you're removing the peanut from the, the scorpion, Maybe it shouldn't be that surprised. We'll just take more health. We might as well just keep piling it on and then just hope for a miracle. And it's uh, another big scaling team. And yeah, the mole just does not have the attack necessary to get through, even though we get multiple summons. And it's so funny seeing the scorpions with no peanut. It was close in the end, but yeah. Unfortunate there. Of course, we couldn't have... Uh, you know, popcorn or something on the um, on the orangutan, orangutan at the end because the mole removes it anyway. So here's another one, turn eight, uh, turn 10, eight trophies. So racing to a, an early victory and we get matched with uh, elephant guinea fowl. I kept facing the same team. Uh, you don't see that combo very often. There's so many more people playing elephant camel or elephant uh, blowfish we actually win by 1 HP. So I'm now on 9 wins turn 11. I don't have any scorpions. So I think, do I freeze the melon here? And I'm just going to roll down for scorpion. Um, and we'll freeze the chocolate for the Tyranodon if we manage to get two scorpions. We're also on, on four hearts. So we do find a scorpion in time. And kind of, it would be kind of uh, nice to draw or lose here and therefore have a chance to get the full combo going in the next battle. And it's a summon team, so, you know, we've got a decent chance here. Um, it, yes, it depends what they get from Eagle, and it was German Shepherd, which uh, isn't actually gonna be good enough. Uh, bizarrely, we end up winning with only the four squad and the one nine scorpion at the front. So, I mean, that was a win, but I wasn't gonna be, <laughs> I wasn't gonna be satisfied with that. Uh, so we carry on. Level three mole now, turn nine, four trophies. And I felt like the biggest issue was that uh, as good as it you know, sometimes seemed with Orangutan, um, I just wasn't getting enough uh, attack. So we're gonna try and uh, go for wide scaling with one of the uh, tier six units. And obviously we had T-Rex and the wide scaling didn't help us there, but you just have to try everything really you know when you're trying to get an odd combo over the line nothing should be off the table so we're going to go with uh, elephant seal obviously it uh, because it works with uh, perks it's somewhat synergistic with mole although you know once you bought the first perk you don't really need to buy any more um, for the mole to work that is so we get the scorpion in and i am going to buy the potatoes so that uh, the scorpion isn't just a one one so we're getting to uh, very close to a level three elephant seal extremely rapidly. And luckily here, this team has no equipment on the front unit or they didn't have a melon rather, or, or a coconut. So the scorpion gets the trade up. And I think I should really just start spamming perks onto the elephant seal. Although we are buffing the giraffe and the alpaca, which have to go, uh, it's better to get the mole and the scorpion um, you know, in a better place stats-wise as quickly as possible. Another benefit here was also having the giraffe, which although it's, you know, pretty weak scaling compared to the elephant seal, um, the elephant seal, if you're just buying parks, isn't actually scaling. So getting some extra stats onto it 
and increasing the chances that it uh, survives start of battle it's uh, very important although the giraffe has done its job it's time for it to go no t-rex this time because i do want another scorpion and let's just feed elephant seal i do want a, a perk on the uh, pteranodon as well so we'll just freeze everything and we get the scorpion so we will have to bin the 1917 alpaca next turn but the matchmaking is being incredibly kind here that's three uh, battles in a row, I think, where it's presented uh, a one-for-one one trade with the uh, the scorpion at the front. So now, now move the elephant seal to the back, sell uh, alpaca, and then bring in another scorpion. And now we just go ham buying perks. Although I think I am going to buy one on the... Okay, not on the pteranodon just yet, but uh, we are going to look for the level up as well. And level two should be uh, good enough given that the elephant seal has decent enough stats and we can deliberately end on a uh, potato or um, you know garlic or something to protect it as well rhino that is so big <laughs> when uh, it comes out of the stork and uh, they're actually going to get the 50 50 retriever here which is pretty grim so our stats didn't really help us there but I think you can clearly see the difference compared to T-Rex. You know, you're scaling the mole as well with the elephant seal, which I think is pretty important. So we get the park onto the Pteranodon, and uh, we're actually going to trade one for one here with another scorpion. Uh, I don't think this is the same team, is it? Just another leech uh, camel. They're uh, a dime a dozen. And we did get the mole resummon there, although uh, it ended up not mattering. But eight wins, and the elephant seal level three is just making such a huge difference. And look at this, mole hits 50-50 on turn 15. I mean, I don't think there were any other runs that got anywhere near that in terms of stats on the mole. And it's mantis, shark, muskox, but the mantis, again, <laughs> gets one shot by the scorpion. And we're actually not going to need the mole resummons at all. So a little bit disappointing that the, the combo didn't go off there. But that is the, the peril of the, the high scaling, is that you can end up just winning by virtue of stats. And uh, you don't get to see your combo going off at all. So we'll just buy the chicken leg to give the elephant seal more survivability for another mole resummon. And it's leech camel again. How many leech camels in a row? Uh, or not in a row, but, you know, <laughs> there's been a lot of them. And we are going to get to see the resummon. So the combo does go off, even though you can see from the start of that battle that it was a foregone conclusion with the, the scorpions in the team. So not an especially reliable team in the end, but uh, a lot more fun than Molox, I think.